So if you don't actually try it something, you'll never know whether it actually is going to work. And yet what you end up doing is often expending a lot of resources at something and not getting any particular outcome that you were hoping for. This is like pretty true of much of life. Um, but the problem is, is that you actually have to try to do that particular thing. So, you know, it's, it's troubling, right? Like you think about it and you think like, wait a minute. Um, you know, I should be able to get something out of this. It should be like a one-to-one -one relationship. And, and I think part of that is to do with how we have pretty direct immediate feedback in, in education and yet we don't tend to have that in much of life. What ends up happening is that you might invest in, maybe it's investing in somebody, right? Like maybe they come by and you really want to be around them or you want them to, to be around you and you invest a significant amount of time in them and effort in terms of wooing them and then um, what ends up happening is you find out like a month later that they're just not interested and so you spent all this time and effort to invest in somebody that was just not interested um, and then you just wasted all those resources now you can think of all of this as you know a big waste and it's troubling right um, if you think of, for example, um, part of what I'm trying to do with the Reciprocity Project is to, you know, um, find people to work with, maybe find different opportunities, maybe PhD students um, that might be willing to, to come by and work. Um, but, you know, here's the thing is that I put in all of this effort and not much actually happens from it, right? Like there isn't that much... However, if I don't put in this effort, then uh, I'm not going to gain any possible benefit at any possible time from, from it because it doesn't exist, right? Like there is nothing that exists um, with that. So you can't necessarily think about the immediate returns and anything. There is no immediate returns. This might, somebody might listen to this podcast this specific podcast in 30 years um, because the internet sort of has this long, um, you know, it's, it's imprinted within, um, within the internet and, and people can listen to this in 30 years and, and realize, wait a minute, that was the struggle that I had and I understand where he's coming from. I'm going to reach out to that guy and just say, hey, um, and you know, that might be 30 years and I would be retired and all of that kind of stuff. But, but that would be a really interesting experience, right? And that's where you sort of have to think about this is there is no, you do not benefit at all if you don't actually try at something. And so you have to try and your expectation should be that it's going to fail, that it's not going to work out. And yet we get sort of, uh, you know, I, personally me, I get really upset when it doesn't work out the way that I thought it was going to work out. And there's no possible way to know, right? Like, th this is example, um, you know, the example is, is publishing research. In our field, it's pretty hard. I really struggle at it. Um, I don't know, you know, the, the secrets and all of that kind of stuff. I don't know if there is a secret, but, you know... I work on something, it takes me to, to get a complete paper, it takes me about four months to do this, um, and then I get a complete pa paper, and I hand it in, and, you know, I hope and I wish, um, and often, you know, I get a rejection, and I would not know if I would have gotten that, that positive, um, you know, you could keep working on this, or revise and resubmit from the journal, uh, if I didn't try. And so when I get that rejection, I get disappointed. Um, and I, I don't know how to feel about it. I feel really down. But, you know, I would never know in terms of what would have happened if I didn't actually try with this. And I think we need to be cognizant of that, that we just need to try. Um, there's no 
right answers when when you do anything. And you, the only way that you sort of figure it out is if you actually try and you go through this negotiation process of trying to figure it out. And you might put in a lot of resources, you know, you might actually invest a lot in, in a relationship, for example, and then it just does not work out a, a year after. Well, you learned something, I hope, from this in terms of, you know, maybe um, taking it slower or looking for a different person or, you know, using those subtle clues, for example, that, that they might give you. Like, all of those things kind of add up and you have to remember that none of this is, um, none of this is a waste. It's all life experience that you're getting. And as long as you're sort of taking it in and absorbing, observing and, and absorbing and observing and thinking about it and processing it, you should be getting better at it over time. And you don't realize how better you are at it until you actually sit down and, um, you know, 10 years from now, you get a good sense of what's going on. Um, that's an important thing to remember is that you do gain experience um, and that experience allows you to shut out some of that stuff, right? So, so for me, I'm learning to become completely less emotional. It still hurts, but way less emotional with any of this stuff and just say, screw it. It doesn't matter anyways. That there's, there's nothing here to really worry about. Um, and you just got to keep trying. And, and that's, that's where I am gaining benefit from this. Is I'm becoming a harder person. Um, where I realize that the world just doesn't give a shit. And you just have to keep going. Um, no matter what. And, and that's a good lesson right like that is a really really good lesson is that you can't will people to like you you can't um will other people to like your ideas you just you can't do it on your side it's either they do or they don't and you have to get that sense um right off the get-go whether it's actually going to work out or not and you, you have to have a good sort of spidey sense in terms of understanding that um and, and honestly, I really get that sense with this now. I get a sense of, like, um, when things are not quite working out. And um, I, I, I much have a much better sense with it. I have a lot more clarity. Um, and so these are really important lessons that you get from, from trying and putting it out there and then seeing what happens. There's nothing that you can possibly do if you, um, if you don't try. You just do not have that opportunity to to learn to maybe actually get that 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 winning contract, for example. Um, you just have to you just have to do it, and and if it doesn't work out, then you learn something from it. I think that's a really important lesson that we should all take away is to think about as you're doing this it's all a learning experience and the learning experience might be to not necessarily you're learning how to do things better right like relationships you might not be learning to do things better but you're learning how to be more independent you're learning how to you know rely less on other people you're learning how to be a stronger person regardless of all of the sort of crap that you go through and I think that is is priceless, right? Like that really trains you to be better. Um, and you can stand up to the world no matter what um, it, it hands at you. Because much of the world is not friendly. It's not nice. And so you have to come back and use these lessons as tackling um, or use these lessons that you garner to go after the next thing and go after the next thing. Ultimately, that's all we do in life. We, we try at something not knowing what the right outcome ever is and then we see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, then we go do something else and we repeat that over and over and over again. We simply have to keep doing that until, you know, until our day comes 
But, you know, why... What else do we have to do? What's the alternative? You can't just sit there and not do anything at all, right? So we have to try. We have to put ourselves out there. We have to keep going no matter what happens and ignoring all of the mess along the way. So um, hopefully you learned something from this and just keep going. That's it the end of the day, it's just about keeping going, keeping consistent, keeping um, your hopes up, and just marching forward. All right, take care, and have a wonderful day. Bye.